I was still like a mad person. I'm sure me love. Yes, I'm sure me love. I'm sure me love. Like you know that that one was, hey, it's not me. Now I'm going to go to the I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Good afternoon viewers, my name is Olai Wola Abigail Tomilola, a student of Nigerian Institute of Journalism and I'm here with my colleague today, Ola Dipupo Amato Yossi. Good afternoon ma. Good afternoon. Yes, please can we meet you ma? My name is Princess Adishola Kusoko Abino. I'm an actor. Thank you very much ma. What um, inspired you to pursue your career in acting? Well, I would say that um, I drew the inspiration from my father, Prince Jide Kosoko. Yes. While growing up, I wanted to become like a lawyer or a broadcaster, mass communicator, like, like you, like <laughs> you. Yeah. I actually wanted to be either of those. But while growing up, while waiting for admission, to gain admission into the university, I was called upon to act few movies. Immediately I finished from secondary school, I started participating. You know, one, two scenes, few scenes. And as a matter of fact, my first appearance is a, um, there's this movie titled, not a celluloid film, titled Omoruko. Yeah. You may not have heard about it. No, I don't think so. Man. You have? Yes. Good. I haven't. Good. Good. <laughs> Omoruko was produced by our dear daddy in the industry, a veteran actor, Otumba Adebayo Salami. Okay. okay. Popularly known as Ogabelu. He produced the movie back then in 1987. Okay. And I was able to play the role of the young Beju Ogumola oh. in the movie. I was just seven years. Wow. wow. Yes. That was my first appearance, right? Yes. But well, immediately after secondary school, it's, it didn't stop actually. We kept appearing anytime they needed um, props. They, call, they used to call us props. <laughs> you know what props is? You need a bag on set, we call it prop. Yes. We need a car. We call, call it prop. It prop. Yeah. So they used to call us prop because we are not doing it because we wanted to do it. Yeah. We are doing it because they wanted us yes. to do it. Just like That's an extra. It. Extra, yeah. Okay. I, no, not as an extra. Okay. You know, you, you, that time, as at that time, um, we couldn't take decisions for ourselves. Yes. I was a child, a young child. This is my dad did I would decide, hello mommy Furui, and I just have to do it. And I'm definitely going do to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So in between, while I was in primary secondary, we we're doing a lot of that until I finished. That that was when I started professionally. The professional acting started for me. I think that was nineteen ninety eight. So I participated in few movies produced by my dad. To mention few of them, um, Ola Bata. Ola Bata means Ola Bata Lumodo Show. Ola Baba Monim Momonyo, meaning that um, we enjoy a adaptation of my That is literary meaning. There is literary meaning, there is deep meaning. meaning. The yeah. deep meaning is that. Whatever your father has done, you enjoy. You enjoy, and you know vice versa. Mm -hmm. If your dad, if, if your dad is so good, good, you definitely you are going to reap good. So if he, if he sows evil, you are going to reap evil. Evil. That's the deep, the little way I can <laughs> explain it. So I participated in a lot, but I participated in. Okoyere say I don't I cannot interpret that. Okoyere say <laughs> and some other few movies like that. I I worked with the likes of the late Baba Sui, mm. a blessed memory. I worked with quite a lot of veteran actors because of course my dad is one of them. Mm. So they bring a lot of jobs to my house 
where we lived, they bring a lot of jobs to to my area. So because of that factor, I, I participated in a lot of them that I cannot even remember their titles. So thereafter, moving on, I did um 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 Omoloribe. Omoloribe was shot I think two thousand or two thousand and one. And that was a movie that shot me into limelight. And, um, you know, I said, while I was waiting for admission, was when I did that. So, after doing that, I started enjoying it. I started enjoying it. And then I gained admission to read sociology. I did some other courses. I did a um, diploma in industrial and labor relations. I did sociology, I did um, the formal arts, all this at Olabisi on Obanjo University. So, like I said, I started enjoying it, and then the rest is story. To God be the glory. Here we are today. Hallelujah. Ma. Can you share with us your memorable or challenging experience in the industry? Well, there are quite a few challenges, very few, because um, um, they, call, uh, our, they call us in the name of the Father, because we started this because my dad has been an actor. Maybe if he was not an actor, maybe I wouldn't be here, and maybe I would be here. That I wouldn't know, but because he has always been an actor. Even before I was born, I'm an actor. I'm an actor. So because of that, we don't really have so many challenges. So just, can we put it this way, that it made you realize yourself? Maybe. It's, it's, it's a pathfinder for me. This, where I am today. He's a pathfinder. He is my pathfinder. He's my mentor. He's my role model. Name it. God bless him for you. So, Ma, do you have any favorite role so far? Every role should be done well. So, it's even if you are given a very minor role, if you see it as a, a, a role that must be interpreted, in fact, every role must be well interpreted. Mm. And that is why we usually say that a vers if you are an actor, you must be versatile. If you are an actor, you must be versatile. When you are versatile, there is no role that you should not see as a challenging role. You should see every role given to you as challenging. And if you, if you see every role as challenging, you will think of a new style you mm. know, to put into practice in the role. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, ma'am. So, are there other roles you still want to explore or you haven't so explored? Many, so many. <laughs> so many. Like yesterday, I was alone in the sitting room, my sitting room. Okay. And I was and I was acting, you know, for myself. Oh. <laughs> I was, you know, just acting the role of an imbecile. Yeah. Yes, I saw I saw a movie <laughs> where someone played an imbecile. I like the way the person played it. And I saw some that you said, no, no, no. This person didn't do it well. Yeah. So because of that, sometimes I might stand in front of a mirror and start acting like a mad person. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Who knows? You, you could be called upon for, for some a role. So yeah. once you have practiced, you know, you have an idea of how they do it. When you are doing this, you are watching yourself in the mirror. Yes. So while you are watching yourself, you know when you are not doing it well. You put, you, sometimes you, you add some kind of exaggeration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you do it the normal way, it may not be interesting enough. Mm -hmm. exactly. So if you exaggerate it sometimes, you feel that this is the way to do it. I'm mm -hmm. not, um, like I said, every role given to you must be played well. So. As an actor, you don't put down on any level. Okay, thank you so much, ma. So, do you have 
any project you are working on. Okay, I just finished on a project. So the title is Fife Home. Fife okay. Home, show me love. Um, okay. I just finished working on it about two months ago. And um, it's going through the process of post production. And after that, maybe December, January, you should watch out for it. It should be out. Okay. Thank you. Yes. So right. follow me on my Instagram so that you can see my updates. Okay. So okay. I'll do it as soon as we are done here. <laughs> All right. But you want me to say it so that yeah, you can. people can you follow can. me? You yes. can, man. Official Shola Kusoko is my Instagram and the Shola is spelled as S H. Official Shola Kusoko. Yeah. So, Ma, aside acting, do you do other things? Well, I used to, I used to own some businesses. Like, I used to have a big shop, a boutique. But this are uh, our job, eh? <laughs> it doesn't want... It, it takes... It will... It's time consuming. It's very hard for you to have other businesses that can survive with filmmaking. Although there are some businesses that can be done around it, like I have um, I have a van. I have a van that we use for location. So there are some other little little business. I'm a model. I advertise. I model for people. So those things we do most times surrounds surrounds our profession. Um, can you please share with us a craziest thing a fan has ever done to you? Craziest? Okay. I don't know if you admit that this is crazy. That was that year very long time ago I was um Work, I went to Alabison Abanjo University. Okay. So, for those who are familiar with um, that place, you know that usually uh, our permanent site is a little far from. Um, I remember. You know, like going from main campus to the. I will remember. Mm -hmm. So, I was walking. Actually, it's a trackable distance. About 15 minutes work. Is it even up to that? About 15 minutes work. So I was walking from one point to another. And a girl walked up to me. Bam, 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 bam. Don't you have a car? Uh oh. Tell your dad to get you one. Can you imagine? You need a car. Look at the sun. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I was looking like, before I could even say a word. word, she left. Like, you would know that that one was mean. Towards me, yes. Like, probably, you know, sometimes Yoruba people will say, Every money, you know. A lot of our fans, they know us, but we don't know them. But you me, maybe come. I don't know. And if I could say a word that, why are you also working? You're supposed to be in your car. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It was crazy to me. Like, do you even know if I have one? Maybe what I suggest for you. <laughs> or what if you chose to walk that day? <laughs> then I didn't have a car. I was still very young. I didn't have a car. But not quite long. Even before I finished from university, from higher session, I owned, it. I, I owned my own car that I bought with my money. <laughs> that's, that's not the one somebody bought for me. Not the one my daddy bought for me. Not the one my husband bought for me. The one I bought with my own money. Yes. That's, that's interesting. Thank you very much for that, Matt. Please, do you have any advice for upcoming actors and actresses? Like the advice that I always give to them is that they should remain focused. Focus. Focus. And when I say focus, I mean focus. There are a lot of distractions out there. You know, there will be stumbling blocks. There will be hurdles. There will be moments that you will be sad and you, you will not want to 
move on like you know to continue. There will be moments that you feel frustrated. There will be moments that you don't just give up. Don't just give up. Because um, it's this saying that there is light after the tunnel. A lot of our youth these days want money as fast as possible. Fast, fast yes. The one they, they, they will ask you questions. Like they will say, ah, are, we, are you going to pay me? And look, no wasn't built in a day. No, not at all. Even as a daughter of a veteran actor, it is not money that first got that attracted me. No, it was the passion. It was a passion. It was hope. You know, when you start, money will definitely come. At the right time, money will come. But if it is that money you are after from day one, you end up doing what you are not supposed to do. Definitely. You end up, you know, falling into wrong hands. You end up, you know what I'm saying? So, as much as possible, passion first. What I did in the university is my first course is sociology. I have years in sociology. It was later, later that I went back to school to study performing arts. Understand? This is what we have known. I was born into it. I was born into it. So I know it. So money will definitely come. Avoid distractions. Um, feed your focus and starve your distraction. All right, that's that's a very, very good advice, Mark. So it looks like we have come to the end of this interview. If there's any other thing you want to add. Um, acting business is a good business. It's a very, very good business. And like I said, focus is the one major thing. And the ability to be able to update yourself is very, very important. Upgrade yourself. You know, what is trending is what you, there is a Yoruba saying that the man will be the better that the man will be the same. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you know that this is something new, you need to know. Make sure you look for it and get out to know it. You understand? Yes, sir. Life is not the bed of roses. You understand? So there's they said there's no pain, no gain. no gain. So there has to be time that you have to to labor, to labor for your for the sake of your future. You have to stop for you. Definitely. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, we really appreciate you.